Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be talking about time or Timus vulgaris. So I've got some interesting information lined up today about that common culinary herb that hopefully we all have growing in our gardens. Coming in here, I've got a little patch of garden thyme, some uh, Thymus vulgaris. You can see it kind of poking through the grass there. Um, and it's still nice and green and fresh, um, usable for cooking and medicinal purposes in mid-January here in Michigan. Uh, the only way you really wouldn't be able to get to it year-round is if you've got a couple feet of snow on top of it. So here we have a couple different examples of the thyme plant. We have some dried organic thyme that you can get in bulk at pretty much any health food store. Um, if they don't have it in bulk, they probably do have it in containers, but it's always better to use the glass container than the plastic, in my opinion. And then some fresh thyme that I picked out of my garden today. Um, interesting to note that it's the middle of winter here in Michigan, and we're known for having relatively harsh winters, although this one has not been and you can still get fresh plant material to use either in your cooking or in your uh, medicinal purposes, especially great to have in winter with all of the colds going around. So, thyme or thymus vulgaris is one of my favorite herbs for culinary and medicinal uses. It's my absolute go-to for any upper respiratory ailment. Uh, some of thyme's herbal constituents are tannins, bitter principles, flavonoids, triterpenic tannins, bitter principles, flavonoids, triterpenic acids, polyphenols, and antibiotic compounds. Some of thyme's therapeutic actions are antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, antioxidant, antiparasitic, antiseptic, antiviral, astringent, carminative, deodorant, diaphoretic, expectorant, hepoprotective, and tonic. This is by no means an exhaustive list. The ones that are uh, most useful for upper respiratory ailments are antibacterial, antiviral, diaphoretic, and the expectorant um, aspects to it. Those are what really make it stand out as a good remedy for bronchitis and colds. Some of the medicinal uses for thyme are for support of asthma, bronchitis, candida, colic, coughs, diarrhea, eczema, fevers, gas, bad breath, menstrual troubles, sore throats, ringworm, whooping cough, and that is by no means an exhaustive list. Thyme is a very effective antioxidant, and many studies have shown its free radical scavenging activity and its ability to inhibit oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids which, in my opinion, makes cooking your meat dishes with thyme a really great example of daily herbalism. Thyme does have some contraindications. Don't use in more than culinary doses during pregnancy, and do not use the essential oil at all during pregnancy. Do not use the essential oil internally at all, and use caution if you are taking antidepressants, calcium channel blockers, and blood thinners as time could affect how they are metabolized by your liver. So I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite time healing recipes, two of which are from the book Water Magic. One is the healing colds and flu bath. Uh, they call for oils in this one. Uh, it doesn't specify essential oils or not. I prefer to make teas. 
So this one is eucalyptus tea, peppermint tea, lavender tea, vitamin C crystals, and thyme tea. So you'll want to make those as an infusion with a lid on the pot while it's infusing so that you don't lose all of the essential oils. And this bath helps to eliminate mucus from the upper respiratory system while improving circulation and helping to relieve head pain. The second is um, titled for women only bath. I hate that because uh, it's for vaginal infections, yeast infections, bladder infections. And uh, as we should all know by now, it's not only women who have vaginas. So, work with the name however you like on that. Um, for this tea, you make a tea of sage, thyme, rosemary, and whole cloves. You strain that all into your bath water. And I think I already read off what it's for, um, different vaginal problems. Uh, it helps to rebalance hormones and the monthly cycle. Uh, use this bath when you have any sort of infection and it will have a calming effect on your body. I personally have used this one, and it is wonderful. It's worked really well for me. So some other of my favorite ways to use time are to use it as a steam when you have an upper respiratory infection. So bringing a pot of water to a boil, taking it off the heat, adding your fresh or dried plant material, and then covering with a towel and breathing in the steam for as long as feels comfortable to you is a really good way to administer that while sick. You can also make a cough syrup out of thyme, marshmallow, and honey. So you make a, a strong infusion of thyme and marshmallow, gently, gently simmer it until it's reduced. Um, measure how much liquid you have, add the same amount of honey, heat for a little bit longer until it thickens up, and then you can just take it by the spoonful as needed to soothe, soothe a sore throat. That is my information that I have on thyme or thymus vulgaris. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Bye now.